Hello tech fans, I'm Jacob, and as you probably saw from the thumbnail, uh, we are going to be taking a look at a box filled with, I, I don't know what, it's a bunch of CD-ROMs, uh, primarily from the mid to late 90s. Uh, a lot of them came from my dad's old computer store. Uh, I've seen a couple of these from around the office, but I don't know everything. Uh, it's going to be a lot of weird, interesting multimedia CDs, not necessarily games. Uh, and I just think it'd be interesting for us to look through them and see, you know, what things were like back in the days of media, you know, physical things that you'd buy to have access to software. What a time that was. We got a big box full of them. I'm just going to grab inside and pull a thing out at random, and we'll see what we got. Uh, starting off, we have... Consumer Reports. Let's see if I can get that nice and not glary. There we go. There we go. Consumer Report Cars uh, for Windows 3.1 and 95. Awesome. So I guess this will tell you which car to buy and how much they should cost and stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, this has been replaced by, I don't know, Googling or, I don't know, going to, like, the Kelly, Kelly Blue Book website or whatever i don't know I, i'm not a i'm not a car guy uh next we have uh in a blank case we have sports image world cup 1994 and it says right there <laughs> free game included that scares me more than anything because it's being sold as an encyclopedia kind of thing with a game included you know the game's bad when it's not the primary selling point of the disc it's just an added extra uh, so that's cool. I know nothing about soccer whatsoever, so uh, maybe that'd be interesting. Look at this. Uh, this right here. That's awesome. This is the uh, WWF in Psych in, in Raw-pedia. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a terrible pun. It doesn't work. Oh. Uh, so I guess it's WWF knowledge. Cool. Um, that's... I mean, it's obviously going to be very dated, pre-WWE and all that, but... Uh, it's cool, and we got some well-known faces on the covers. Very nice, very nice. Um, so, so far, lots of sports, some cars, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what's next. This is... Um, Hi, Mickey Mouse. Disney Interactive presents Learning and Creativity Sampler Volume 1. Uh, neat. I don't have much to say about that, because uh, I don't want to say anything about Disney before they destroy my life as the massive corporation they are. We have Microsoft Trip Planner 98. Back when you needed a CD-ROM to help you, like, itinerary, I guess, or... Let me see, it says something on the back here. Let me read it for you guys. It says, uh, looking for a US street address? Get Microsoft Expedia. Uh, streets 98 to find and map US street addresses with pinpoint accuracy. So it's also got like a GPS kind of thing in it. Cool. I would separate into two piles, like all the things replaced by Google and all the things not, but it'll only be one pile. Uh, next, uh, that is, ooh, I love that. Uh, that is very clearly a copy of Windows ME, or I guess it's supposed to be pronounced Windows Me. I never knew that. I don't like calling that. So from now on, I'm going to call it Windows ME, and I'm still going to get comments telling me I'm saying it wrong. So, sucks to be me. Uh, this is one of my favorites. I have no idea what it is. I've never played it. But I've seen this uh, floating around for years now, uh, and I'm just enticed by the cover because that right there, look at that, that is some grade A vaporware. Put that, give it like a, take a video of it and just put some VHS grain filters over it and some vaporwave music and you've got quite the uh, experience. Look at this, you get a clock in the background on an overcast day on a chessboard with a pirate ship and just an old dude hanging out. I love it. 
it's kind of to the point where I don't want to play it because I don't want to know what it's about because it's more fun not knowing. I love that one. That's great. What's next? Uh, we got... Oh, we're going straight into the real stuff. NFL math. And... Oops. I got excited. <laughs> NFL math is the greatest game of all time. It teaches you NFLs and math. So, uh, yeah, I, and, fun fact, uh, see that kid there on the cover? Let's get a nice image of him. See that kid on the cover? That's me. <laughs> Promise. That's me. Never mind the fact that I was like, what year is this? Uh, I was like five when this came out. <laughs> What's next? Uh, this is a double size one. What is this? Live from New York, it's Saturday night. Uh, the, fi the first 20 years of Saturday Night Live, two CD-ROM set by Game Tech. I love how, like, cyberpunk this cover looks. That's kind of cool looking. A multimedia experience. Experience. Uh, that's cool. I don't know why you need a multimedia experience for Saturday Night Live, but hey, fly 2K! Or I guess since the exclamation part's in the middle, it's fly 2K. Uh, I like Flight Sims quite a bit, so this is going to be fun to play with. It is rated K through A, kids through adults. Uh, next, I grabbed two, so we're going to look at both. Uh, we got Cube, the video puzzle game. I have never heard of this in my life, uh, but it's by SoftKey. We got a lot of SoftKey stuff in here. And this, wow, what a cover. Um, by Paramount Interactive. Rop, rop. Rock, rap, and roll. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. I, I approve of the cover art. Uh, I'll grab a couple here. We got, what is this? The Grammys. Uh, so I guess I would have, like, that would get outdated very quick. But if you ever wanted to know who won the, the Grammy for best song whatever in 1992, we got you covered. Uh, and then ESPN, uh, ESPN what? Uh, coaching tips. This seems like it, a very, very small audience of people who are like, man, I just love sports, but I just don't know how to coach. I need to use the power of multimedia technology. What's next? Dennis Miller. That's Greek to me. The hilarious guide to high-tech jargon. Is this like... Oh my gosh, it's like teaching you what computer words mean. It's like a, it's like a, uh, what's a, it's like Urban Dictionary for computer terms on a CD-ROM. And it's celebrity endorsed. I love it. What's next? Uh, how about MTV Unplugged? CD-ROM. Uh, let's see, uh, I have to check the back. All access, the vault, and unreleased stuff. But this is on CD-ROM. It's, I, oh, it's empty. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. Like the thing with it is, it's unplugged, and I get it. The music's supposed to matter, but the music's probably gonna be bit crunched as all heck. Uh, wow, that's a cover. Okay. Music Central 96 from Microsoft, the Microsoft Home series. Um, no one take my product code. Don't do it. Uh, that is a very loud cover. I like it. Uh, Word Perfect Office 2000. How many versions of Word Perfect were there? Because like Word Perfect was really big in the, you know before times but by 2000 it you know it feels like microsoft office was kind of already the king so eh, hard to say uh we got a couple sleeved ones like 
Flash MX. Uh, would you like some uh, Adobe Flash on disc? Yes, please. Uh, what's this? Oh, more Flash. Great. Uh, what's next? Uh, Mega Movie Guide. Okay. So it's just got, like, information about movies? Uh... Over 50,000 reviews. Oh, so it's tons of reviews of movies on one disc. Wow. Amazing. I can finally think about what the people from 1997 or whatever thought about Godfather Part 3. Did they hate it? Who knows? Uh, let me pull this one out. This is After Dark Games. Oh, that's super cool. I love After Dark stuff because I'm not able th to think for myself and everyone loves After Dark stuff, so therefore I must too. But no, seriously, the toaster, man. Flying toasters. Uh, so this is the games. I've never played the After Dark games. I only dealt with the screensavers. So I'm sure there's someone on the internet that's played them. Uh, what's this? Dreamweaver Ultra Dev. We can make our own websites, guys. Wow! What's this? Toyota RAV4? <laughs> so it's just... Oh, okay, first of all, bold choice putting it in a lime green case. Uh, clearly not what it came in, but... So is this just like a, hey, this is why you should buy our car on CD-ROM? I don't think there's that big of a market of people who both want a Toyota RAV4 and know how to use a CD-ROM um, for a multimedia experience. I don't necessarily think they're the same market, but I don't know. Uh, let's see, what's next? Uh, we have... Um... Um, <laughs> Dr. Ruth's Encyclopedia of Sex. Uh, a complete interactive resource for people of all ages. Um, oh good, there's no pictures. Um, you know, seems actually like a useful piece of software, but also not the type of thing you want to walk into your 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 local uh, computer software place and be like, this is what I want. you got to go to the next town over at least. Uh, what's next? Sherlock Holmes. There's murder afoot. Is that a threat? <laughs> Three exciting cases. The case of the mummy's curse. The case of the mystified mur mur murderess, and the case of the Tin Soldier, by ICOM. Uh, okay. Pretty cool design. You got him with his pipe or whatever. And Note Pager version 2.0, alpha numeric paging dispatch software. So is it like computer software that can automatically page people? Copyright 1997, 1998, all rights reserved. Note Page Inc. Man, starting a company that has to do with pagers in 1997, that's ballsy. Uh, I only got a couple more here. Let's see what the last couple we got are. Uh, let's see, wow, that's a loud cover. Burn and Go! The arsonist's favorite CD-ROM. Um, no. <laughs> Take your favorite files with you. Burn and label. Burn, label, catalog. I have seen so many different, hey, burn CDs uh, using this crazy program here, this, over my life. It's kind of ridiculous. I just noticed that they have uh, labels on them, uh, and this one says, alternative MP3 mix. Cool. You are so hip and cool. And last up, we have Cinemania 96 from Microsoft Home. Uh, very cool. Don't take my code. That's everything. We have looked through uh, a lot of very weird CDs. 
Uh, just goes to show you, you know, the market changes really quick and some of these things were sold as you'll never need a new encyclopedia because you'll have everything you could ever know about the Grammys on one disc and this is obsolete. I mean, I don't think there's anything you could have more obsolete. You know, it just goes to show you how times change, but think about how much data is on this stack of discs compared to if it was, uh, all printed out as text files or on floppy disks or whatnot. CD-ROMs were a marvelous invention, but they're still fun to laugh at. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this fun little video that we just kind of throw together to for you guys because I thought it would be funny. Uh, if you did, make sure to like this video. Please check out our Patreon. It's pretty cool. We got some cool stuff there. Maybe some exclusive videos in the future. Who knows? Uh, join our Discord where you can share your memories with... Uh, weird CD-ROM software. Let us know if we got anything fun. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.